Hi everybody, welcome back to Charmed and Dangerous. I just wanted to share with you guys an eye tutorial today. I'm going to show you guys how I do my winged liner. Now mind you, I'm not a perfectionist. Well, I am a perfectionist, but I'm not like perfect at this. I'm not an expert at this or anything. Um, so this is kind of how I do it. Um, so I hope you guys like it. I hope it turns out okay. Um, I've done all of my makeup except for my eyes. I haven't done anything with my eyes yet. Um, so I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing, tell you what products I'm using, and we're going to get straight into it. So stay tuned. Okay, so I zoomed in a little closer for you guys so you guys can see. I don't know if my light is going to allow you to see everything that I'm doing, but I'm hoping it will. So we're just going to start right off. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. As you guys know, I love this stuff, one, because it's inexpensive. Um, and two, because it's just really quick and easy. You just dab it on and you rub it in. Um, I always use eye primer. Um, I never used to and I always get really mad because my colors wouldn't turn out very good and it would be like I didn't put anything on. But the um, primer really helps with creasing and it also helps kind of bring out the color um, of your eyeshadow. So it's much more apparent. So I'm basically just rubbing that in, blending all of that. Alright, so we got that on. I'm going to start with my base color. Um, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Idle Eyes Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. I just got these, so if you guys watch my mini Walgreens haul and my giveaway, um, I just purchased these, um, and I got these for you guys too. So, um, this is going to be Pixie. This is like the nude color, and um, Techno is the shimmery purple color. So I'm going to take this nude, and I'm going to start with the nude. And it's like a really like shimmery nude. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to start that on the inside corner just to the middle. So you don't have to cover your whole um, eyelid with this color. It's just going to be kind of like the inside color. So then I'm just going to take a brush. If I can find one. I'm just going to use this. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And I'm just going to kind of take it and just kind of blend it in there. You can go up a little bit into the crease if you want to. I'm not focusing too much on the crease or anything like that with this um, because I'm really focusing on the dramaticness of my liner. I'm going to take then Techno and I'm going to do Techno on the outside here to the middle. And I want this to really stand out. Because I'm going to have a lot of dark on my eye. So I'm just applying this all over this section here. It's really getting it in there. Okay. And then I'm going to take another brush. This is um, a contour brush that I use for my eyes. And I'm just going to kind of just like blend it in a little bit. Um, so I'm going to highlight really quickly just underneath my brow I'm going to be taking this on the inside corner here um, this is just a white eye pencil from LA Colors just like out of my local um, uh, family dollar I don't know if you guys know about family dollars just like a local dollar store and then I'm just going to take a brush I'm just going to kind of blend in that highlight I don't like to highlight too crazy much or do anything too dramatic I want it to look very like subtle and natural. I don't want it to be like, oh yeah, she put a like a crap ton of white underneath your eye to make your eye look bigger. So I just like to start off with a little bit, and then if I want to add more, I do. So I basically just do that, just a little bit of a subtle highlight there. And then I'm going to start right in with my liner. The liner I'm going to be using is the Cream Eyeliner by e.l.f. in black, obviously. There that is. I'm going to be using two different brushes, um, and I'll explain why. I'm going to be using an angle brush. You guys can see that, probably not an angled brush. Um, and then this is actually a concealer brush by e.l.f., which is way too small for a concealer, but I guess if you're like dotting your pimples, I don't know. Um, but I use this here because it's very, very small and I can like really get in there um, and do like my outer corner because that's what I have the most trouble with is doing like my outer line. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with this. I'm just gonna dip it in the color a little bit and just kind of wipe off the sides so I don't have like too, too much. So I just have, I don't know if you can see that, I have a little bit of color there. Move my hair out of the way a little bit, sorry. Um, and I'm going to start with that outside line because I want to make sure that I have that line just the way that I want my wing to look. Um, I don't want to start in the middle and then get out there and my wing's like this big, you know, because I've just overdone it. So basically I'm going to start 
And I'm going to start at this corner right here. And I literally am just like lightly touching it. I'm not doing too much. And then I do the other side because I want them both to match. So that's basically how I just find where I want my wing to go and do that part. Next I'm going to go on with my angled brush here. Dip that in the product. Wipe off the sides a little bit. And this is where I'm going to start making my line. I find it easier for me if I hold my eye. Because if I just kind of shut it and I go, like my little wrinkles in my eye, like I, you know, get like a bumpy highway, like all of a sudden. So I basically just hold my eye like this. And I start here. And I'm just going to draw on my eyelid first. I find that doing my eyelid first helps me, so I'm not like perfect at this, it helps me instead of trying to go and draw all the way up and then I've just like covered half my freaking eye and stuff. Um, I find that doing the eyelid first really does help me because I can get that thinner line here and I can thicken it out in the middle. So go to the other side. Again, just focusing on the eyelid first. Okay, so I have like my thin line that I'm going to want here, and now I'm going to start from the middle, and I'm just going to kind of go up to the wing. So I'm going to get a little bit more product on there, because I want to make sure I have enough product that I'm not like dry brushing it and making mistakes, but I don't want so much that I'm like spooching crap all over my eye. So I'm going to basically go to this tip here. I'm going to start right around here in the middle, and I'm just going to draw a line up. And again, while I'm doing this, I'm pulling my eye. So then I just go in here. And you can make it more dramatic if you want to do like a bigger angle. It's really like what you prefer. If you just want like a kind of small wing, do a small wing. If you want a big wing, do a big wing. You can wing it out to your earlobes for all I care. You know, it's really what you want to really go with. So again, I'm just going up here, and then I'm going to do the other side. Again, starting from the middle, pulling, and going up to that wing. Again, it's just easier for me to shut my eye when I do it. Not everyone will but it's just easier for me really to shut my eye when I do it. Then I'm going to take my smaller brush again just because sometimes I don't trust myself with the big one. Get some products on there and then I'm going to go in and basically fill in this area here sorry just concentrate in Fill in that area there. Do the same thing on the other side. I just like to make sure that I have my outside kind of nice and like how I want it to be. So again, filling in this area here. Making sure that all looks copacetic there. Okay. And then if you feel that at this point it's not as thick as you want it to be, you can go back in and you can do um, thicker. Sometimes I like to start off with just kind of like a thin wing, um, just because, you know, if you can always do more, but you can't necessarily take it away, because this stuff is going to dry, and once it dry, it's going to be dry, and you're going to have to wipe the whole thing off and start all over again. Um, so you can go back in, if you want it a little thicker, and just make it a little bit thicker. Take it up more here, bring it to a thicker wing. Smooth it out. And when I go up, I don't necessarily go all the way to like the point of it. 
because that's like a detail work kind of area and to do it went to smudge. So again, go to the other side. We're just going to make it thicker just to show you that you can do it. You see how it's like, it looks like it's spooged over there, but it's not because we're going to fix it. Because the point of what we're doing right now is we're just making it thicker. It's not like necessarily perfect right now. And then you just go in. If you did make it thicker, you go in with your brush, your smaller one. And you're just going to perfect that point a little bit more. And I like doing mine like this. I like the little like curly Q thing. You can do it like straighter out if you want to and make it like so it goes straighter out. I just think this is kind of a different look. I think it's kind of pretty when it just kind of like flickers out like that if you guys can see that. Um, so then basically that's pretty much the wing part of it. Um, and then I just do like underneath liner. Um, I don't use the gel liner for underneath just because I simply think it's a little too much. Maybe I just haven't perfected it yet. But I feel like it's just a little too much. So I'm going to go in with the eyeliner that I of course didn't pull out before I started this tutorial. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay. This is um, the eyeliner that I got in my Ipsy bag. I was using a different eyeliner before but I love this eyeliner so why not use it. Um, go in with that. Underneath. Sorry, I'm just really concentrated. I don't want to poke myself in the eye. So when I do this, I do really thick on the side here. So it kind of like matches up with my wing a little bit without me having to draw like a harsh line there. So I just like to make sure that the side there is just looking a little thicker and then I just do normal on the rest. Pop some mascara on. This is my Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. This is the one that I like. Um, I do have mascaras that have better like formula. But I like the brush on this one better. Because my other ones have like a really like thin brush. And I need a thick brush. Because I have like not this and eyelashes. So I need something that's going to like really give me some oomph. Um, and with this, you might not necessarily see your lashes because you have this big wing going on. But you always want to put on mascara because it really just perfects the look. Again, I hate poking myself in the eyes, so it's like why I'm like making funny faces and not talking very much. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my winged liner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like the look. Um, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Um, tell me what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share with all of your friends. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Go over and check out my um, giveaway video. I have a Walgreens haul and a giveaway video. So if you guys are interested in getting some products, um, like three of the products that I use today will be in the giveaway. Um, go ahead and go over and check that out. We greatly appreciate it. I'm super excited to see your guys' comments and everything, to see more comments. I need more comments, guys. I need them. Um, but thank you for so much for watching. I will be coming out with some more tutorials and more videos in general for you guys. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.